would have cost taxpayers from both states a million dollars to repair the bridge to working order, and it would have taken six weeks to complete. With only 10 weeks to go until the bridge is scheduled for replacement, the fix wasn't efficient enough to make sense, according to the Department of Transportation. It's a repair that has never been done before on any bridge in the country, which also played into the decision to close it for good. For the next year, drivers will be detoured over the I-95 bridge and Memorial Bridge. People who live in the area say they're sad to see it go, but know it's time. The project's chief engineer explains that the coastal environment has not been kind to the 76-year-old steel bridge. I guess because of the rust is so bad, and if you don't take care of that stuff, like same thing with the car. The um, new bridge, we really are hoping will have a hundred year life. That's what we're designing it for. It's going to be easier to maintain this bridge. We should, um, both states should spend less over time on this bridge. It's not likely that construction on the bridge will start any earlier now, but it is on schedule for the new Sarah Long Bridge to open September of 2017. In Kittery, I'm Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.